in September of 2008, I had the privilege of addressing this group. And if we recall September of 2008, it was on balance a relatively happy time. There were problems looming, but if you will, the wave hadn't fully hit the beach yet. Now it's September of 2011, the wave has not only hit the beach, <laughs> the water's coming into the living room in some cases. Of course, I'm referring to the overall macroeconomic situation. In 2008, I made some points about underlying trends, and I wanna reflect on those in the context of 2011. There were, there were three trends that, that I mentioned then uh, related to the social sector. One was growth, number two was innovation, and number three was excellence. And you might recall the points were on the growth front, there will be in the decades ahead a significant private wealth transfer. In addition to that wealth transfer was the talent transfer, which I hope I asserted was more important than the wealth transfer because I think it is. The innovation meant with all this money and all these new people and all these new organizations and new technologies and stuff, new ideas are percolating. People are, are figuring out how to do things in new and better ways. And excellence meant as nonprofits strive to improve the results they deliver for their communities, as donors say, you know what, we've got to do better. How do I get more results with my money? That emphasis on results causes a, a kind of ratcheting effect on excellence. What's an A is going up. Those three trends that we talked about then, I think still exist today. When times get tough, and especially when it's structural in nature, when it's not going away anytime soon, the gap between the best and the rest is more visible and tends to increase. Why? Because the best try to go on offense. They ask, what do I have to do differently? They challenge their assumptions. They challenge sort of the, the sacred cows of way they always proceeded. They ask the hard questions. They make the tough decisions. So this is where this innovation issue really matters. And it's painful. It, 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 it's one thing to sort of change things at the margin. It's another thing to ask if you're a nonprofit, do I have the right organization? Do I have the right cost structure? Is my, are all my programs really achieving what I need them to achieve? Where could we be 20% better? What would we do if we had 30% less resources? How do we confront that question? How can I better collaborate with other nonprofits? Should we merge? Are there other kinds of big ideas that might help us reorient toward what is clearly, from a government funding perspective, a new reality? Tough times breed stronger organizations and more effective strategies. So I'm prioritizing talent, then capital, then strategy. Why is that? Because you know what? If you've got the right people in the right job and you've got adequate cash flow, you'll figure out the strategy. You just need to be willing to confront your assumptions and the tough questions. If you are not trying to get better, you're almost certainly getting worse. You may not be getting worse in an absolute sense, but you are getting worse relative to other organizations that are trying to get better. This is why this question, am I getting better, is so important. It's also why it's so hard to address. And so it's not about us getting better so that we can say, look how great we are. It's about us getting better to solve problems, to help our communities. So ask yourself, what is the importance of my life? What is my legacy? What are the opportunities I uniquely have? Because at the end of the day, as near as I can see, it's not about us. It's about the influence we're able to have. It's about the gifts we're able to share. It's about the service we're able to provide to others. So good luck on your journey.